this is Stampy, and welcome to a Let's Play on... Oh, no, nope, did it wrong. <laughs> there we go, a Let's Play on Super Mario Maker. This is the uh, uh, beginning of another series where I'm going to be building levels for a YouTuber, and the uh, the next four videos are going to be for Wizard Keen, who you may uh, have seen in uh, Wonder Quest, uh, which I've been doing with him. Uh, season 2 uh, should be starting soon, by the way, just to uh, let you know in case you're wondering about that. Uh, but yeah, we're not talking about that today. We are talking about Mario, and uh, we're going to be doing the, the same thing, where I'm going to go through all four of the, uh, the different styles of Mario games, uh, starting with Super Mario Bros, and building levels for him. And I've come up with an idea uh, for what this uh, first level is going to be, and I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be really nice to him. I have no idea how good he is at Super Mario, uh, so I thought that I would go easy at first, uh, just to kind of ease him into things, and then I can see how well he does, and maybe step it up and make it a little bit harder later on. So the idea of the level is, it's going to seem really, really difficult. In fact, it's going to seem almost impossible. And that's because most of the ground is going to be made out of spikes and blades and fire and all sorts of nasty things. And I mean, literally, I'm going to build the floor out of these spikes. And it might seem impossible to get over them, but it's not if you have a star. As you can see, oh, <laughs> as you can see, I failed to click the star. As you can see, if I do a, another star, and oh, no, 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 don't disappear. There we go. I can now stand on the, the spikes, no problem whatsoever. So the idea is, is the level would be uh, impossible if you didn't have a star. So the challenge is to make sure uh, that you always have the uh, the star power while you're playing through the, the level. So I thought I'd start things off by uh, adding in a, a little puzzle at the, the very beginning, uh, which is where you're going to, to need to get your first star. So uh, above the uh, the top of this cave, oh yeah, I've gone for the, the cave style as well, because I haven't really uh, used this style very much. So uh, yeah, up here, I'm going to have this question mark block here, and uh, inside of here, you guessed it, is going to be the star. The problem is, even though you can get the, the star out, there's going to be no way to actually get the star, or at least no obvious way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build all of this area up like this, and then have one little gap there, and so basically, he's going to go and break this, and then the star is going to get stuck here, but there's no way to get it. But I am going to be sneaky, and I am going to hide a little spring inside of here. Uh, inside of there like that. So what he can do is get the, the star, and it's going to get stuck here, and he's going to be like, what do I do, what do I do? But if he jumps here, the little spring's going to come out, and oh, and then I lose the star. <laughs> Tell you what, let's go and uh, build some blocks up there, shall we? Actually, what I could do... Can I, how do I turn these sideways? There we go. If I turn this sideways, uh, I could put a few of these here. And uh, not only uh, will that keep the, the star in, it's also a, little, a nice little bit of a, a hint as well as to what could happen. So uh, let's see what happens now. I think there's a chance it might go to the right anyway, and that's what happened then. Uh, but if it doesn't, uh, then it can just go the, the other way. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to extend the, the ground out a little bit, uh, just so he can definitely get the, the star once it jumps down. And that's the start of the, uh, the level. Well, actually, I'm going to add in a sound effect as well. Let's add in a, a nice little cheer sound as well, <laughs> just for when he works out this puzzle here. So he's going to do that, and then yay! He gets the, the star, and from then, he is off. So as I said, uh, let's go. No, no, I'm recording myself. No, cut it out. Stop it. Stop it. Stop recording. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, so from now on, there's going to be no solid, safe ground. It's going to be all uh, these spikes. So let's start off by doing uh, a few relatively simple jumps, but of course, there's going to be a timer. The entire time this is going to be uh, going on, his time is going to be ticking down uh, for the uh, the star. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be... Um, uh, he's going to have to try and be very fast. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in flying stars. If I get a star and put some wings on it, uh, when that moves, uh, you'll see that it just goes and flies along uh, just like that. And then he can have a, a chance to grab it uh, before he dies, just like I did then. <laughs> and let's make this uh, even more dangerous then, shall we? Let's go and uh, add some flames in, shall we? Let's add some flames uh, on the, the either end of these. And these are going to do absolutely nothing uh, apart from scaring him. <laughs> And let's make the let's make the beginning extra scary as well, uh, just so he knows uh, that there's no possible way of him uh, making this unless he has the star. So if I put a, a, a saw here and a, a saw here and a, a saw here, once again these are going to do nothing. He can just jump straight through them and it won't hurt him. But it just looks very scary. And how can we make it even scarier? Let's go and uh, add some flames in uh, that can be flaming around here as well, <laughs> just to make it completely crazy. And I could even throw in a, a few enemies as well uh, that could be uh, wandering uh, around here. So let's go and uh, put a couple of these little on each of these platforms. Once again, they're just going to get immediately killed if he tries to, to stand on them. Um, but yeah, it's uh, just making the whole thing a little bit scarier. So let's go and uh, try and do this little opening then, shall we? So uh, the star comes out. I knock up the, the star. Oh, look, it's gone to the left. It's gone to the left. And then it bounces all the way back. I like that. <laughs> and then I can go and get the, the star. And uh, I can just go along here. 
It looks like half the enemies actually just fall off. And there we go, I got the, the other star. So I'm actually going to change these guys into the, the spiky ones. Because the ones with the, well, they're spiky, but the ones with just the, the single spike, they go upside down as well, uh, rather than just falling off. And I think that's a, a little bit cooler. And uh, now let's go, let's add a, a bit of a, a tunnel going down. And once again, we're going to use spikes rather than blocks. And uh, I could add, um, I could add these guys to it. I think, can I do these on the side? Can I spin them at all? Oh, what did that do? I made them like watery, did I? I'm not sure what I'm changing about them. Um, okay, I don't know what that does to them. It does an effect, but I don't know if it actually does anything. I think I just might be angering them a little bit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these guys are quite good because if you touch them, they hurt you. But I think they need to be in a block. I don't think they can stay floating. No, they do uh, need to, to be uh, on a, an actual block. So let's go. Uh, let's just do a, a platform down and uh, put a, a row of them on there, shall we? Well, I say platform. I big row of spikes. <laughs> and then let's just go and put a whole load of these on. And I could put a big one. Let's put a big one in the, the middle as well. Let's get a, a mushroom and uh, let's make a, a huge one here. And uh, let's put a, a few huge ones. Let's do a huge one on either side. And then a, a bunch of little ones in the uh, the middle, shall we? I think that would be quite cool. Let's put you there. One, uh, two, three. And once again, he's just going to go and charge straight through them. But he's got to get that star. If he doesn't get the, the star, then that's going to be the trouble. As I said, there's going to be no real difficulty. Unless he misses a, a jump going through the actual level. Uh, but it's just all about keeping his nerve and not panicking too much. <laughs> right then, let's make him go and drop down on something. So these things uh, can actually be walked on. If I go... And uh, put a, a bunch of these uh, along here like this. Uh, these can actually be walked along the uh, the block which is in the middle. So these uh, can actually be used as a quite a nice platform if I can actually place them down. And uh, let's start alternating the, uh, the directions as well. Let's do them so they're all going in different directions. He can go and step on there. And uh, then down here I'm going to go and add uh, another big row of spikes. But then I can go a little bit crazy with uh, some of the, the enemies that I'm going to put around here. So uh, let's put some thwomps down. These guys are cool because they're going to fall on his head. But they're not going to hurt him. They're just going to literally just bounce off his head. But I think it uh, will look look quite cool anyway so let's kind of like alternate these uh, a little bit like this and then in the the middle we can go and add uh, an absolute massive one in uh, which uh, will no doubt scare him once again even though it won't hurt him <laughs> and then he can go and keep charging through i should probably uh, give him a uh, another star soon as well because i haven't given him a, a him a star in quite a while so let's go and add uh, some of these in and i'll do one more there and then let's just go and uh, add these spikes along a little bit further like that there we go jolly good i want to give this a go let's go and add uh, another star in now uh, so uh, i can get that in case i need it but Let's go and give this a, a test to go, and uh, let's see if this is fun. I want him just, just to, to feel really powerful when he's playing through the, the game, and kind of a little bit invincible, which I think will be fun. Uh, and then, I think towards the end, I will have a bit where he thinks he's going to run out of the, the star, but should hopefully be okay. Right, let's go. <laughs> I can go and take out all of these enemies, and I got the other star. And oh, look, these guys don't hurt me. I can just go and jump over them. These don't hurt me either, and down come the forms. If I stand here, they just all uh, don't hurt me, and I can get the uh, the other star there. I like that. I think that's a, a good start to the uh, the level. So what I might do now is go absolutely crazy uh, with all of the uh, the different enemies, I think. Uh, let's just go absolutely mad for a little bit. Let's do uh, an actual bit where he needs to, to jump up. Let's move the end along a bit because I am not ready for that once again I am just going to be using spikes because I think it's good fun to only use spikes <laughs> and let's let him kind of go into like a, a little bit more of a a, a tunnel now like a, a tunnel that's going to lead up so if I go and uh, oh that was a little bit wonky uh, let's go and uh, move you along here a bit and uh, let's go and do this tunnel going up here and so then this way he's going to have to, to jump his way up to the the top uh, in order to get out the the other side and uh, we can go a little bit crazy uh, with some of the the enemies that we're going to put into here so let's add some of these um uh, these cannons uh, these can be blasting kind of like like absolute crazy and uh, there needs to be a way for him to actually get in here doesn't there so uh, let's put there we go let's put these cannons uh, a little bit lower here and then this way he can run in and then let's just do a, a few pretty simple jumps uh, that he can do in order to, to try and uh, get up to the uh, the top so let's just do uh, some here uh, like that let's do two out there and then two out there and remember he has to do these quick because otherwise uh, the uh, the stars will run out so he does need to, to make sure uh, that he doesn't spend too much time here uh, but then there's just going to be a whole load of distractions I guess uh, let's go and uh, add in a, a bunch of saws and then we can kind of put them over these spikes a little bit uh, just to hide them to make it a little bit harder and uh, let's Let's go and just go absolutely crazy with some of the, the baddies we can put here. We can put some of these guys in. I don't think it's going to drop to the floor. Is it going to stay there? Oh, no. It disappears. 
I don't think it can be in the, the spike. So let's not worry about them. Uh, let's go and add some of these guys in, shall we? Uh, let me just see uh, whether they will actually fire at me. If I get the, the star as I spawn in, then I can survive. And oh no, the other cannons got destroyed. Is this going to shoot me? I don't think it can shoot me through the uh, the spikes. What happens if I put it in the spikes? Is it going to be able to shoot me then or is it going to disappear? Nope. They, all the things just disappear uh, if they are inside of the uh, the spikes. So that's not going to work. Let's save the, the cannons uh, for a little bit later on then. Let's just go and add in some other enemies uh, from uh, from this little section then, shall we? Let's go and add in what would be a, a cool enemy. Let's add a, a bunch of bombs in, shall we? If I just go and uh, just put literally them all over the place here, these guys are all just going to drop down to the uh, the bottom here. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's going to make uh, lots of uh, little explosions all over the place or possibly uh, some big explosions. So there we go. This is just a little bit silly. Once again, it doesn't matter whatsoever uh, because he can't really be hurt. But <laughs> it's still just uh, some nice fun anyway. And uh, yeah, he can go along here. So he's going to be here now. So now what I might do is make him drop down uh, while everything is firing at him. So I think here I'm going to have to actually use some proper solid blocks. Uh, and then that way I can go and put all of these cannons on them. And I'm just going to go and put uh, as many down as I can. So let's uh, uh, move this up a little bit higher. And I'm going to move these a little bit higher as well. And, oh, no, that was meant to be the uh, the blocks I placed down there. So if I do these and leave gaps of two, I can just have cannons on uh, on either side of this area uh, just blasting him. And uh, they can be shooting him with the uh, the cannonballs, uh, but also whatever else I want, whatever an an enemies or dangerous things I want to put in, <laughs> they can also uh, be firing at him as well. And then uh, along the, uh, the bottom here... Uh, we can go and carry along with some spikes or something. So uh, let's go and put all of the, the cannons down on this side. And then I'm going to do the, the exact same on the, the other side like this. And I'm not giving him a star yet. I think this is going to be the first time uh, where he's going to be actually really panicky. Because uh, I'm not going to give him a, a star until he's completed this level. So that means he would have had to have done all of the other uh, jobs uh, pretty fast. Let's build along here and along there like that. And along here and then along here and then down the, uh, the bottom here. Uh, we can go and uh, have some more spikes like this. I can actually uh, have a, an extra row of them, can't I? Just uh, down here if I do this. I know it's probably not the uh, the neatest of levels, but <laughs> it's okay. It's doing its purpose. Uh, so let's go and uh, add the, the cannons down on the, the other side here. If I do one there, like that, and then I can do one here and one... Nope, that needs to be a little bit lower. And I'm going to test it out as it is with just firing the, the cannonballs, and I'll see if I think it's crazy enough, and uh, if it's not, uh, then I'm going to go and uh, add in a, a bunch of other things as well. And so... Uh, uh, these need to go a little bit further along here like this. And then I'm just going to add a, a row of spikes uh, behind them, uh, just like I did the other side. There's kind of like nice little gaps as well behind them. I kind of feel like I want to add something else into them. What I could do is just add stars into them as kind of a, a little bit of a tease. So he can't actually get these stars, but they're all just going to be bouncing around these little rooms like crazy. <laughs> but he can't actually get any of them. I think that's quite funny. All right, then. Uh, let's go and uh, give this uh, a bit of a test to go. If I just grab this star as I spawn, I need to jump up here. And there are all of the, the bombs dropping down. And oh, it's actually really difficult jumps. Oh, I don't think I can make it. It's not only difficult, it's important. Oh no, it is doable, but really difficult. I don't know if that's actually a little bit too difficult. I think I'm going to make them a little bit easier, uh, but that does mean uh, that I can add more of them in. So uh, let's kind of go and add uh, another one uh, here like this. And then I can go and add uh, another one uh, in here like this. And then you can get to that one. And uh, let's just move this one a, a little bit lower, shall we? Let's move it down to here and add that one there. And then he should, uh, from here, be able to, to jump up to the, the top. And I actually, I want to add a, a bunch more bombs in because they were fun. But I wanted a, a few more of them as well. <laughs> so let's go. Let's tell you what, Let's go and do a, um, a one of these here as well. And uh, this can just be dropping bombs constantly as well. Tell you what, this one could be dropping uh, giant bombs. Because why not? Because absolutely why not? It's basically uh, here just to distract him. Okay, let's give that a, another go now, and a, let's see if that's a, a little bit easier. There we go. That is much easier now. I can jump my way up here. Look at the stars. Look at all these stars going crazy. And all the pipes actually getting in the, the way here. That's really difficult, actually. Uh, what I need to do is move that along. And let's move this pipe a little bit higher, and a, let's move it to the, the side as well. And as you can see, I actually run out of star power then. Uh, so what I need to do is make sure uh, that there's going to be a star somewhere nearby here uh, as soon as he goes and lands down. So uh, let's go and uh, add another another star in somewhere. I guess I could add a, a flying star uh, coming in uh, along here. Uh, so as soon as he gets down to the, the bottom, uh, he's got a chance to get uh, another star. So let's see uh, how much time I have spare if I do this. I don't know if I'm making it a little bit too difficult now, but we'll see. So I jump up here and then jump up here and then I make my way down and oh, hardly any of the, the cannons fired. And oh, where was the star? Oh, the star started moving along too early. I think I need to move it a little bit further back there maybe. 
Actually, I know what I could do. This bottom one down here could actually fire stars. That would be a nice way to solve the, the problem. Rather than firing something nasty, <laughs> it actually fires stars. And I kind of like them all firing the uh, the bullet bills, actually. I thought that was uh, quite a, a cool effect uh, once I got to the, the bottom, uh, and then they all just fired. And you can see them firing across uh, over to, to me as well uh, while I'm over here. And so I'm going to go down like this, and I land at the, the bottom, and then this one should fire a star. Oh, it fired a star at the, the wrong direction, and it didn't actually get to me. Hmm, how can I make sure it only fires in my direction? That's going to be the question. Tell you what, if I fill this area in, then maybe it won't be able to, to fire, and it will actually fire it at me uh, rather than where it did. Let's go and uh, give this a bit of a test then. Uh, let's go and climb up here like this. I love all of those stars going crazy. <laughs> and then drop down, and is it going to fire something? Oh, right, there we go. Now I got the uh, the star fired at me. And I also uh, need something here in order to, to block him off. Let's just go and uh, add a, a bunch of fire in here. Uh, this is a, a nice scary way to say you do not want to to, to go this way. <laughs> and I think we're probably uh, starting to get to the end of the, the level. So I kind of feel uh, like we really just want a, uh, a big finale at the end over here. And I feel like there's only one thing it could be, and that has to be Bowser. We got to have a, uh, a big Bowser at the uh, the end over here, don't we? Tell you what, let's have a, a few big Bowsers, shall we? <laughs> uh, let's go and uh, make it big. And I think we can copy it. And oh no, you can only have one. You can only have one Bowser at a time. Um... Okay, this is okay. So let's put it in a uh, a flying clown car then, maybe. And uh, this could be... Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do it just on the, the ground down here. And then I can just do a, a bunch of uh, other enemies uh, around him as well. So let's go and add him down here like this. And then let's move the end of the, the level a little bit further forward like that. And it's just going to be a straight run to the, the end. And then we can just go absolutely crazy with all of these enemies. And let's just make them all giant as well, shall we? Let's just go and uh, make them uh, all huge. And then we could stack some of these guys up. Oh, let's just do big stacks of enemies. We can just do big totem poles of giant enemies at the, the end. I think that is going to be a good ending. And oh no, I've ran out of enemies. It won't let me add any more enemies in. Right, let's just do the, um, let's do smaller totem poles then, seeing as it won't let me go quite as crazy as I want to. So let's just do uh, totem poles uh, of, uh, of three enemies at a time then, shall we? And uh, let's just uh, add in as many as we can uh, before the game tells me off. There's a, a limit uh, to the amount of uh, enemies you can have in a, a level. And uh, not too surprisingly, <laughs> I have a reach to that limit, so uh, let's go and add in, uh, can we stack these guys on each other as well? I think we might be able to. Uh, let's make uh, these big, and uh, let's see if we can stack these as well. Um, yep, I can definitely stack them. Oh no, but that is my, that is my limit. That is my enemy limit. What a, a shame, but I can uh, go and add uh, a few more spikes in here, and uh, let's just add uh, all spikes under the, the floor here as well, so it doesn't look uh, too weird, and uh, that is pretty much uh, the, the level completed. So the, the final thing for, for me to do is to give it a, a little bit of a, a test to go and see how well it plays. So uh, the first things first, I need to get the, the first star with my little spring. Up it pops and I can try and catch it. And now I want to be as quick as I can. Let's go, 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 go. I got the, the other star. That was very important. I come down to here. Here are all the, the forms. <laughs> I got the, the next star here. I got to jump up these uh, saws like this. And this is where I want to be really fast because this is the, the most dangerous time. I got to get the, the other star. And there we go. I got it in time. And now let's go and try and take out all of these guys and Bowser. And I've completed the level. <laughs> I think that's fun. I think that is going to be a really fun level for Wizard King to, to go and play through. So I'm going to go and uh, touch it up a little, a little bit. Uh, maybe do a bit more testing. Maybe get rid of some of these bombs uh, and add uh, a few more enemies down here instead. Uh, but then I'm going to go and send it to Wizard King so he can play it. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be playing the level that he has made for me. Okay, let's play Wizard King's level. And it looks like it's called Dragon's Tummy Time. Okay, I see what's going on here. It looks like we're gonna go inside of the uh, the mouth of a dragon. It looks like it's uh, an underwater dragon as well. So we've got some teeth, but they're not really a big worry. And I hit a spike. Oh, I think that's supposed to be like steam. I think that's like steam coming out his nose. Right, I think the best thing to do here is to be really quick. And then that way I can get past these bullet bills. And there we go. But they will uh, start firing in the other direction now. And of course, the belly of a dragon is full of fire. What else would you have in the, the belly of a dragon? And squid as well. Apparently there's squid in the belly of a dragon. And oh, looks like just like me, he has decided to use some stars. So I'm going to go and grab that to make sure I'm safe. And I can go right to the... Uh, the top of the pole and I've completed the, the level. That was a really nice short and sweet level. So uh, yeah, that was the uh, the first one uh, that Wizard Keen has made for me, but it won't be the last one. Uh, there will be three more uh, which are going to be coming up afterwards. And tell you what, let's give that level a star as well. <laughs> so yeah, in the, uh, the description, there'll be a link to the, the next episode. There'll be a link to Wizard Keen's video and the ID if you wanted to play this uh, the level I built for yourself. Anyway, that's the end of this episode here now though. I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all uh, later. Bye! Oh!